was in the line of fire for having organized a beef party in Srinagar. But now a fringe group has smeared ink on his face. He believes this is the first sign of a growing Talibanization of Indian society. Joining us now is firebrand and hardline independent MLA from Jammu and Kashmir, Engineer Rashid. Thank you very much sir and I must begin by saying that you know we may have our political differences when it comes to ideology but I don't think any right thinking person will agree with what happened uh, at the press club this evening. It's very unfortunate, highly condemnable. But I want to ask you about a sentiment expressed by many people which is that your action was deliberately provocative as you live in society you have to take care of each other's sentiments and the fact that you threw a beef party is something that ignited emotions and sentiment how do you respond to this sir? first I am thankful to whole of the media and sensible people throughout the country that they gave me support I feel accommodated by the way uh, which media, uh, the response which the media showed. As far as beef party is concerned, let me make one thing clear that I am the person when I became MLA from that day to this day, I have not been taking meat, button, uh, mutton, beef or chicken within the parameters of my constituency because I ask my people to donate this money which you spend on beef, mutton, chicken to a trust which we are running so that children can get education and uh, ill people can get some medicines from that uh, money. Having said that, I have already said you that the beef party was, hold, uh, was held by me in a context that the assembly had to take up the issue next day and JNK being a Muslim dominated state or had it not been a Muslim dominated state, we all should respect the fundamental right of everybody, what he wants to eat. But given the surcharged atmosphere, I, I, I was that not a deliberately provocative action? I will tell you sir, no not at all, I will tell you sir. Because for the reasons why it was not anything to uh, provoke anybody. The reason number one, I didn't slaughter anything inside the hostel which is wrongly being propagated in the media. Number two, I didn't cook it there in the MLA hostel. Number three, I didn't serve it even in the dining hall. I wanted to serve it in my room, the space was less and we did it outside because I had arranged a press conference to tell the media that government is going to sabotage the bill which was to be taken up next day. And I wonder, assuming for a while, those who care for cows, we also in Kashmir say Gao Mata. We respect cow, but not the way somebody other say. I have I respect their sentiment, but for God's sake, tell me if they really kill, uh, care about cows, go and have a survey today. In every locality of Kashmir, hundreds and hundreds of cows have been butchered by army militants during the crossfire, or when the uh, mohallas and the localities were set ablaze by army when there were. Uh, apprehension that militants are uh, in some house. Cows died there. Nobody cared for cows. So I think issue is not only about cows. Issue is something big. And especially tell me who provoked things. There was a law, section 298. It was in practice. People knew how to deal with it. Hindus knew it. Muslims knew it. Everybody knew it. Or what happened with Sudhin Trakulkarni in Maharashtra. Is that not a specific law and order situation? Uh, which is the direct responsibility of the police first? and the state government, how can you blame the Prime Minister of India? I agree to that extent, but Prime Minister is the biggest policy maker and he controls whole of the country. He, if he really means business, then he had, Amit Shah had called Sakshi Maharaj, Sangeet Sumed, others, Haryana Chief Minister to his regions and given them a sermon that you should not talk like this. But sir, you know, once they came out of that meeting, they started talking again in the same tune. And today also what Hindu Mahasabha people said, they started praising the Sunam Garthi and Sakshi Maharaj. No, but Hindu Mahasabha is not the no, BJP. But what about Sakshi Maharaj, sir? What about Leela Karan? Leela Karan said in, Kashmir, in Jammu that if Indian Rashid could be thrashed in Kashmir, much more can happen in Jammu. They even try to attack my house. So the point is that had Prime Minister been really sincere in his, he should have a say on his subordinates. The Hindu Sena, the Bajrang Dal, all these people are not the BJP. No, but they are all interconnected. Let us be very honest tonight. We can't escape by giving that's a weak argument. Ultimately, their goal is one, they want radicalization and they want a Hindu. Surely you are not saying, are you suggesting that the people who came and attacked you did so at the behest or with the permission or with the acceptance of the Prime Minister? No, it is not like that. But at the end of the day, at, 
اکثر کہتے ہیں نا لڑے فوج لاٹھی سردار کی ایٹ دا اینڈ آف دا ڈے پرائم منسٹر ہیز ٹو گیئر اپ دا ایڈمنسٹریشن دا پولیٹیکل دا پولیٹیکل سیٹ اپ دا بیوروکریسی اینڈ لا اینڈ آرڈر مشینری اٹ شوڈ ناٹ ہیو ہیپن واٹ یو انٹینڈ ٹو ڈو نیکسٹ ول یو تھرو این ادر بیف پارٹی وین یو گو بیک ٹو شری نگر آئی ول اگین سی یو سیم تھنگ اف جموں اینڈ کشمیر از اے مسلم ڈومینیٹڈ اسٹیٹ اٹ از یور رائٹ آف چوائس واٹ یو وانٹ ایٹ ٹو مارو مائی لیکس آف ہندو بردرس آر کمنگ ٹو امرناتھ یاترا اینڈ دے آفر دیئر پریئرس ایٹ شیو لنگم وی ار جسٹ ریسیونگ ورڈ دیٹ ہندو آرگنائزیشن ہیز ڈسائڈڈ ٹو ہوسٹ اے پوک پارٹی to respond to the beef party this is madness and it needs to be brought to an end otherwise we'll keep poking each other in the eye and it'll just keep getting worse